This is an issue. I, I don't care what I say or what I do. Have you ever found that situation? But he is holding you together. You're being held, supported by he, the governor. The government is on his shoulders. Jesus, I ask that you touch every heart right now. I ask in the name of Jesus that we'd see the miracle of your activity in our lives. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That we'd acknowledge the input of God in our hearts, in our lives, our situations, our spirit. That we'd know, dear God, that you're at work. That we comprehend the fact that you're at work. That this is the Lord at work. Hallelujah. Renew our faith, dear God, concerning the government being on your shoulders. Renew our faith concerning the fact, dear God, that you're the one that's affecting our lives. You're the one that's influencing our lives. You're the one that's directing our steps. Our steps are directed by the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I ask, God, that we'd see that it's not a matter of us holding on. We'd want to hold on, but, Lord, we're held. We're kept by the mighty power of God. Let your healing power go through this building right now in the name of Jesus. Minister healing to everyone that is here physically, mentally, spiritually. Minister healing in the name of Jesus. Set in order. Set in order. Set in order, Jesus, now. Set in order right now all things. Let all things be under the power of God. In the name of Jesus, set all things in order now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Set all things in order right now. Set all things in order right now. Set, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We praise you. We exalt your name. We magnify your name. We worship you. We, we call upon you and declare you to be the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, every unclean spirit that fights the purpose of God in our life, we take authority over that unclean spirit, and I command it to go now in the name of Jesus, every destroying spirit, Every spirit that would frustrate the purpose of God in our lives. I come against you, you unclean spirit, and I command you to leave the people. I command you to go right now. We are yours, Jesus. We don't belong to the wicked one. We've been bought with a price, and we come in this moment declaring our faith in God. Commanding every unclean spirit to go, and the benediction, blessing of the Lord to be upon each heart. And we praise you. We magnify your name concerning this in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. Thank you, Jesus. If you feel like praying with somebody, if you feel that way, and I'm sure you won't violate anybody, but if you just feel somebody that you love in the Lord and you just know they're going through a hard time, you feel like just, just praying with them before you leave, feel free to do that. I feel the Holy Spirit saying that perhaps there's some that have a need for prayer. And it's not just the preacher. We get to the place where we expect the preacher to pray for people, and that's great. But we're the body of Christ, and we have compassion one for another. We understand the needs. And if you know somebody that's going through a hard place, be a friend to them. Support them, and just put your hand in theirs and ask God to bless them. God bless you richly tonight. May the Thank you for listening to Night Vision with Pastor George Bogle. If you would like to support this ministry, please send your correspondence to P.O. Box 39241, Detroit, Michigan 48239. That's Night Vision, P.O. Box 39241, Detroit, Michigan 48239.